We're outside the uh, Masonic Children's Hospital in Minneapolis where Jonathan Pete has just had his uh, mother's stem cells transfused into his bloodstream. The procedure was uneventful, it's much like a blood transfusion, but doctors call this zero day. Uh, and zero day marks the end of one procedure, his chemotherapy and radiation, and the beginning of what amounts to a waiting game to see whether or not the stem cells actually work and to see whether or not Jonathan's body rejects them uh, or accepts them. The day began early for Jonathan and his mom, Tina. Uh, they woke before uh, the sun came up at about 5 a.m. and Tina came down to the OR where she was prepped for surgery. Despite this being a critical day in Jonathan's uh, treatment, Tina was in her typical high spirits. And they beat you up. Yeah, we're mean. I know. <laughs> Highly. Look at those big muscles. We asked those safety questions before. Yeah, do you feel like, well, I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. After a couple of hours in pre-op, Tina was led to the uh, operating room where surgeons bore two holes into her hip and withdrew the bone marrow that would later be transfused into Jonathan's bloodstream. Tina, just going to assist you a little bit here. So as I said before, now begins the waiting game. Uh, and it's the critical time in this process because what will happen is Jonathan's body will either accept these stem cells and begin to grow them inside his own bone marrow or his body will reject them. There's also something called graft versus host disease which presents uh, a danger as well. And that's when the stem cells that have been infused into Jonathan fail to recognize Jonathan's own cells and begin to attack those. So those are the things that the doctor is going to be watching very closely for in the next three to four weeks.